This is the Functional Movement Challenge. I'm here with Connell from KBC. We're going to do three simple screening tests today. We're going to look at the ankles, the knees, the hips and the back. Generally the areas that give us problems. So Connell, I'm just going to get you to hold the stick up over your head. Feet hip width apart. I want you to bring the stick on top of your head now, all the way down. And you want to have a right angle at the elbow joint. So that's the distance you want your hands. Colin's then going to push it up right up over his head. And he's going to do two squats facing out, two facing me, and two facing the opposite side. So off you go, Colin. Squatting down. OK, so the first thing we spotted straight away was Colin took a little step out. So we can see his hips are a little bit tight straight away. So we're just going a little bit slower. Off you go again. Good, OK, two facing this way. Now let's have a look at the upper body. So we'll start to see the shoulders and the head. OK, off you go. Good, nice and slow. OK, so we can see here, Colin is a little bit tight in the shoulders. You can see his head starting to dip back to compensate. So last one facing me. Off you go. And this one's very interesting. You won't be able to see this from the front, but you'll be able to see it from the back. So just do one nice and slow. So I'm going to show you here that Colin has a dysfunction in his hip. So he's dropping to his right side really quick over to there. And this side is getting restricted. So he's basically got one side that's loose, which is dropping OK. But this side is getting really caught and really tight. So we've identified that Colin has an issue in his hips. He's an imbalance in his hips. So we are OK with his right side. His right side is dropping and it's getting down nice and deep but the left side's getting caught. So he's an impingement in his left side of his hip. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give Colin a couple of exercises to work on. First of all, we're gonna look at the, the tissue itself around the area. So we're gonna start off with some soft tissue foam rolling. So Colin, I want you to sit down on the roller, lengthways, and we're gonna get into the glute. Yeah, you're gonna bring the leg up over, and bend this leg up flat, cool. So we're gonna get into the glutes first. So the glutes are separated, um, but the, the one that mostly needs to work, Colin needs to work on is his glute medius, the top part of his glute, because that's not activating. So Colin works in KBC, um, although, do you work in a sedentary, you're sitting down, so Colin would be sitting down a lot, um, so certainly his glutes are getting a little bit lazy. So we're going we're gonna to foam roll three or four times. If there's an area there that's really sore, you want to hold for about 10, 15 seconds, and then just roll over it again. So we're just looking for some trigger points, some tension points, and certainly when you're doing foam rolling throughout the body, there might be some scar tissue somewhere, depending if you've got injuries on, in your past. So we're gonna do four or five on this side. Again, if you find there's an area that's sore, just roll over it until it eases off. Do the opposite side then again. So while he's doing it, he's also getting a stretch in the hip area by bringing the leg up and over. And again, when you get to the top part of the glute, that's where the glute medius is. That's where it's going to really fire. So that's the first one. So we'll take that. So far each side, jump off it. The next one we're going to do is a pigeon stretch. So we're going to sit down, sit on the floor, knee out in front. You want the right angle from the knee to the hip. So yeah, bring that in front of you. Yeah, and then this leg doesn't really matter because we're trying to get into the small muscle groups in this, in this hip area. And all I want you to do is put your chest over the knee and I want you to reach out, that's it. And from there, I want you to try push the weight through the knee on the ground. Yeah, you getting that? Yeah. Okay, so I just want you to, so a little bit of a correction here. Make sure that your knee is out in front, that's it. And that this hand is coming out lateral and that the weight comes through there so that you're, you're firing up all these little small stabilizing muscles in the hip area. So I'd recommend you just doing 30 seconds on this. Again, Sorry. if you go to the other side, Colin, you might, so, you might see that there's a, an asymmetry, one side or that's stronger than the other or, or weaker or tighter. Left or right? Probably tighter on the left. On the left, OK, cool. So, so we're, we're starting off exercise one, getting into the area, getting fresh blood into the area by foam rolling. Then we're going to actually do a stretch just to, to mobilise the joint as much as we can. And the last exercise we're going to do for Colin is we're going to do the world's greatest stretch. OK, so it's a big step out. You can do it with me, Colin. Hands go down inside the foot. And from here, I want you to push the knee forward. Yeah, so hands inside. Make sure your elbow's inside as well. And I want you to lock your back leg out now off the ground. And I want you to imagine that someone's pulling your knee forward and pulling your leg back on the, opposite, on the opposite leg. So pulling that heel right back. So push the knee forward, lock out your quad. That's it, good. So we're getting a really deep stretch into the hip area. 
And from there, because your body's kinetic, we're working our fingers to our toes. This stretch is really good for that reason. We're gonna get Colin to rotate through the shoulder now, because we have it this side. So bring this hand up towards me. So Colin has tight shoulders, so we've identified his knee, his hip issue, sorry, and then his shoulder issue. So we're gonna get some thoracic mobility through the spine. And if you want to really get deep into this hip area, you can push that knee out slightly, but making sure the sole of your foot stays on the ground. So it's a hold for five seconds each part of the, the world's greatest stretch. So that's your first part. Colin's done the second part. And then the third part is put your hands each side of your foot, push the leg backwards, and push your heel into the ground from the back leg. So you're getting a stretch all along the hamstring here. Because again, remember the whole body's connected. We're not separating the joints here. We're stretching it all together. And the last part then is the, is the final part of the world's greatest stretch, is the hip stretch, okay? So knee off the ground. And what you want to be doing, we've seen this stretch loads and loads of times being done poorly. It's all about firing the glute on the back leg, making sure we're pushing through the hip. So drop the knee down, Colin. So just to recap, we do soft tissue work. We get really deep into the area around where Colin is weak. Uh, we, loosen out, we, we loosen out the, the muscles around that joint. Pigeon stretch is going to get into the smaller muscle groups around the hip. And then world's greatest stretch. It's a kinetic stretch for the whole body.